guys this week something uh, I normally don't do I normally don't show the work on the, uh, the regular jobs when I get employed to uh, complete a task for a client I usually don't show the work that I do for them because it's usually not all that exciting this one's kind of interesting I am doing a fireplace mantel shelf and it gets two corbels underneath of it uh, and we're going to do carved corbels. So I thought maybe I would just show the carving of the corbel. Not that I'm any master at it or anything, but uh, I do enjoy it. And I thought it would be kind of maybe, I don't know, something y'all would enjoy seeing. So that's what we're going to do this week. So the first thing we'll do is get over to the bandsaw and we'll cut out our rough shape here. I've actually already got the other one cut out, but uh, I figure I would save this one for showing y'all. But We'll have to cut it out and then this area gets dropped uh, about a half an inch and then this area is raised above that half by about an eighth and then this spirals out so this is the high point here and here so should be a, a fun little carb here we go Okay, so we're going to mark out where our flat areas are. First. This is just a select yellow pine uh, picked up at Menards. Nothing real special. I prefer carving in hardwoods, but the uh, client's trim in the house is pine, so we're going to match it. It's stained with a uh, colonial maple stain, it looks like, so that's what this is going to get. <clears throat> so it's got to be pretty decent uh, look because it is getting stained and not painted so yeah that'll be fun so this is where having a lot of different uh, number gouges helps like this is a number seven and it's just a little too sharp so we'll go to a number six and that appears to follow it pretty well Okay, now we can go ahead and get started here. Sorry, I had a, had a phone call there. Uh, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, I was trying a number six, I believe. And it follows it pretty good.
All right, now we got this down. We're going to start with the uh, spirals, which is going to be lots of switching out chisels because the curve keeps changing. By the way, this is one of those handy little carving knives like I made for my 5,000 uh, subscriber contest. And I still have both of them. The gentlemen that won them have not contacted me. So you probably need to do that because I, I'd like to get them to you. One down, one to go.
So that was the client just stopping by to check progress and see how it's going. And uh, she likes this, so I'll just keep going with that. Uh, got a little bit more smoothing out to do in here. And uh, got a little bit of fixing to do on this bottom spiral. But other than that, this is pretty much what I'm trying to shoot for. Uh, I'm also going to be, uh, where's the other one? Here it is. I'm also going to be cutting in this area in here. And I'm going to drop it down just a little bit and then give it a chiseled um, finish. And that's the way it'll stay. The rest of it will get smoothed off and be, uh, all of the chisel lines will be, or uh, gouge marks will be sanded out. So this will keep gouge marks and then the area down inside of here will keep gouge marks. So, yep. Away we go. So now I get to do this three more times. <laughs> this side and two sides of the other one. I will uh, try to get a little bit of footage of them once they are done and on the mantle and maybe with the mantle assembled and uh, show you pictures of that. Uh, I doubt that I'll get uh, pictures in the house to put on the video, but uh, maybe I can add them later. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope this was uh, both educational and enjoyable and uh, we'll see you next time.